bang blessings na gusto mong pasalamatan ni God? They're in your seat. Thank you, Lord, for the good health. Thank you, God, for the right connections. Thank you, Lord, for giving me right people, right individuals, bringing me into uh, the right situation at the right time. Perfect God, perfect God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let us all stand, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Today, by the way, I would like to preach a sermon which I would like to entitle Family, God's Household of Faith. I mean, that's quite uh, really very basic. But I will uh, expand that more as uh, we continue on with our uh, message this morning. Please let us share your Bibles together to Galatians chapter 6. I'd like us to read beginning 1 until 10. Uh, I understand because I checked this out. You know, in the Bible app, there's no verse 11 just until 10. I believe we shall be reading the entire chapter of Galatians. Anyway, just 10 verses. Okay? Sige. Tayo po'y makinig sa salita ng painom. Here we go. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, he who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then, and then, let, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone, and not in his neighbor. For each will have to bear his own load. Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows that he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from his flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Verse 9, oh very nice. And let us not grow weary in doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. And particularly verse 10, ladies and gentlemen. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do, let us do good to everyone. Especially to those who are of the household of faith. God bless the reading of His Word. Let's just pray and commit our sons to God right now. Lord, that keeps to be ringing in my head the whole of this week. I cannot just hold myself, stop to, uh, you know, think and rethink and uh, this to be ringing over and over my head. Candidly, I had <laughs> uh, sometimes and some moments where I, I was trying to evade, you know, uh, this, this kind of holy fantasy I have in my mind. Uh, within the whole week. But you know what? I cannot just stop and hold myself. Something like I'm magnetized and I'm, you know, nailed, you know, onto this something that this truth, you know, like uh, it, it didn't, it wasn't oppressive, but it just so blessed me the whole of the week. This word, this word, ladies and gentlemen, is the word family. I'm not talking alone, ladies and gentlemen, about our homes. That can be included later on as, as, I, as I'm about to uh, unravel today the Word of God. But what I'm meaning, ladies and gentlemen, within this week, I just but to not stop to see before my eyes what are happening, what the Lord are doing in, in do, into the church. The Lord keeps to, be, keeps to be telling me and pointing to me with His smiles, telling me silently, but my heart, my heart is witnessing that indeed it's it's the word of the Lord. God telling me, Acts is a family. Amen? Amen. Amen. All of us, we are families, and gentlemen. We could be differing in family names, in uh, in our backgrounds, in the color of our skin, or whatever. But don't you know that in actuality, before the eyes of God, eternally, as He made us to be, and as He, as he made us to be together, we actually are a family. Amen? Amen. Household of faith. 
Let me bring you back, ladies and gentlemen, to the passage, particularly in verse 10. It says here, this will be our key verse. It says, so then as we have opportunity, this is a mandate, this is a command of the Lord. And let me get your attention. The Lord said, anytime, every time when you have the opportunity, it's not just an ordinary opportunity, but a privilege. By the way, every time you're able to show a love to a brother or to a sister, it is a privilege. Amen. Uh, let me bring you uh, to another passage. The Lord was offended to the goats in his left. The Lord telling them, you go to hell. Because when I was hungry, when I was thirsty, when I was naked, when I was in prison, you were not there. Huh? How did it happen? And the Lord said, every time you are not doing this to the least of my servants, you as well did that to me. Amen. That is why privilege. Opportunity here, not just an ordinary opportunity, but a privilege. Don't you know, every time we are able to touch somebody's life, someone's life, your brother, your sister in the church, it is a privileged opportunity. Amen. Are you with me, beloved? Amen. The Lord says, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone. Generally, the Lord says, to every single human being you get across with, when you have the opportunity, the privileged opportunity to help them, say no. Don't turn your back or pretend to say that you do not have. When one would ask, can you help me? You know that you know that you have the capacity, but you know that I say, oh, I, I, don't, I don't have, I cannot help you. And actually, you're not failing the person, you're actually failing God. Amen. Amen. But even with the little that you have, you smile and say, yes, I think I can help you. Uh, Peter and John, they were feeling, before the miracle happens, don't you know that the duo actually were feeling their, their pockets? Why? Because... The PM was asking a literal alms. It was the three o'clock in the afternoon. The duo shook their head because they really could not feel not a coin to their pockets. I feel like sometimes us, you know, when we feel our pockets, they're not even not a single five cent or five pesos or ten, ten peso. But you know what? The spirit of the Lord was upon Peter, the duo. The next was John. Be told to these paralyzed silver and gold, we have none. But we have steel that we want to give you. The man was thinking it could be diamond. Because there was no silver, there was no gold. But what they have is better than silver, gold, diamond. Let me, let, I am asking you, turn to someone else and give a smile to that next person. Tell him, I have something. Come on. <laughs> Amen. General rule, the Lord says, let us do good to everyone. And this is a command. The Lord's mandating. But He is giving a specific rule. A specific law. He said, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Amen. Amen. Your neighbor, you are bound to help when he's in need. A stranger, when he has the help, you are bound to help. Especially when you have. But let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you are doubly bound to help a brother or a sister who's in need. I'm understanding this truth by the grace of God. And you know what? Every time I preach this message, I don't feel uh, awkward or like loose already. You know what is loose? Yung ano ba? Yung sumut ka na. Palaging baboy sa mo. By the way, hindi na ako kumakain ng baboy. Not religious really. And I just realized many of us are realizing that as well for our health reasons. We are not sickly, but we want to stay healthy. Amen. Like to stay stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to serve the Lord in, in the coming years until we reach 85 and even 90 years old. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yung nagsumod tayo ba? I don't feel that. Why? Because ladies and gentlemen, let, let me tell you, your neighbor... Your friends, your classmates who are not in the Lord, you may be meeting them 20 years, 40 years, 50 years, and gone. Because they do not have Jesus. You know, in the fourth road to eternity, your faith in Jesus will determine your destiny, your eternal destiny. 
If they don't have Jesus, they will go to another way. Another, another destination. But if you have Christ, you and I, because we have the Lord Jesus Christ, our being together, our bond, our relationship and our being a family is not only up to perpetuity, it is up to eternal life. Amen. Hello, amen? Amen. amen. Kaya pag hindi mo gusto yung kapatid mo, sapagat grabe yung sumayaw, grabe yung kumanta, sinto now naman, I really do not like, uh, to be honest, brother, to be honest, sister, when Sunday comes, if he's on that side, I will stay on that side. You know, very nice kasi kahit ganun yung attitude natin, kahit alam natin na mali yun, kasi alam ni, uh, uh, sabi na alam ni, uh, sabi ni Lord na God wants us to walk in love. Amen? Amen. Pero kahit mali yung kalasing attitude natin, don't you know na si Lord, hindi tayo niya kinulugan? There no lightning or there no electricity, electricity something that scorches and God telling us, I hate you because you are a hater. Thanks be to the living God because we're living in, in a different dispensation into the dispensation of grace. Amen? Amen. Palapakan doon natin si Lord. Kahit yung ganyan yung kapatid mo, you are helpless but need to yield to the love of God, unconditional love of God. Sa pagkat yung kapatid na yan, you will go and you will see Him not just up to Acts, and not just 20, 30, or 40 years, you're gonna see Him forever. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Bakit po, mga kapatid? Sapagkat family, because Acts, Acts is, is not, ladies and gentlemen, Acts is not just a club. When we come, when we come on, uh, on, on the church, we come not on a Sunday, uh, you know, Sunday gathering to comply a religious or, or a, a religious obligations kasi Sunday ngayon eh. Kailangan, kailangan. Kailangan yung mechanical. Mga kapatid, marami sa atin nakakaintindi na yan. And there are still a number who is in the process of understanding the real value of our relationship that we really are a family. Amen? Amen. Kaya na, if you ask me, I, I, I don't feel na tawag ito, tansumun. Every time I, I preach this word or I pound this once again into our hearts and into our minds. Now I'm, I'm going to give us the reason, the rationality behind why I have this message. Why I'm preaching this today, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, this kept to be ringing to my head. I don't know, for a week or two already, ladies and gentlemen. But let me continue and just finish what I read a while ago. Once again, let me read. Verse 10. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good everyone. And especially to those who are of the household of faith. When you are a child of God, regardless of the color of your skin, regardless of your background, or whoever you are, one is worse sinner than the other. Kasi minsan, di ba, nag-justify tayo. Hindi kasi ako ganun kamakasalanan kaysa sa kanya. Mga kapatid, that... That, that doesn't make the difference. We all are sinners that needs the grace of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Siguro ako mas malapit ako kay Lord kasi ganito, hindi ako masyado, ano eh, uh, you know, I'm not a drunk, I'm not a, a thief, I'm not, I'm not a slander, I'm not a gossip, I'm not this, I'm not that. Hey! You're a person that needs Jesus. Amen? Amen. Kasi when you feel like you're a holy person, you feel like you are qualified. You feel like you are worthy and deserving. You don't need Jesus. But if you like, as anyone else, a sinner that needs the love of God, welcome. You belong to the same family. Sinners who are saved by grace, washed by the blood of Christ. Amen. 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 Now this, I have learned, ladies and gentlemen, listen. The Word of God teaches that indeed blood is not is not at all the basis of family. Are you with me? Amen. Hindi ibig sabihin na magkasing dugo kayo, magkaisang nanay, isang tatay kayo, yun ay total ticket na already na you are a family. May, may nabasa ko sa Bible eh. Sila po'y kambal na na eh. Kambal po ha? Hindi lang basta-basta mga kapatid. Kambal po sila. Ang kanyang kuya po, dinala ang kanyang bunso. 
tumingin dito, tumingin doon, walang tao. Dahil galit siya sa kanyang bunso, si kumuha ng isang malaking bato. Kanyang ano, uh, pinukol ang ulo ng kanyang bunso. Nung nahulog ang kanyang bunso, kapatid, ang pinukol niyang ano, bato, ito po'y itinapon sa ulo ng kanyang kapatid. The younger brother, can you imagine twins killing each other? They were the first brothers in the Bible. They were not just ordinary brothers. They were twin brothers of Abel and Cain. Si Cain killed Abel. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. The Word of God is teaching us blood is not enough. Blood is not at all the basis of family. The Word of God is telling us family is relationship. Amen. Amen. So, the end of the family is family is relationship. I am meaning that is superficial but a genuine relationship. Ayon, isa pala yun sa mga ano natin, sa mga homework at assignment natin. Yun po ang lifetime homework at saka lifetime assignment po natin. Now we can develop relationship. Wala pong cum laude dito, wala pong ano, uh, scholar sa relationship, building a relationship. Kasi is ibang iba sa isang isa sa atin come from different backgrounds. Hindi tayo sanay. Karamihan po, tayo po ay mahihiyain. Karamihan po, hindi tayo sanay na makipag uh, sunggaban ano po? Sa Tagalog, sunggaban. Hindi tayo sanay na palaging nagsasalita much yung sa hindi mo masyadong kakilala. Yun na nga ang husband mo eh, 25 years mo nang kilala. Hindi, hindi ka nga ano, sanay na makipag-usap sa kanya eh. Parang nagkaganon ka every time pag anniversary ninyo or birthday yung husband mo, nung lasing, nagdala ng flowers sa'yo, hinagkan ka, I love you. For 25 years, kasi hindi ka sanay. Let alone going to a church, third week mo pa lang, or three third month mo pa lang, sinabi dito sa pulpit na kailangan tayo po ay magkilan lang sa isa't isa, magmahalan sa isa't isa. Paso sa totoo lang, mabigat talaga sa akin na ako'y pupunta magsishakehan. Much more when you're telling Pastor to hug and to kiss, Hey, Pastor, I'm from the planet Mars. <laughs> Mga kapatid, tayo lahat ay ganun. The tapuan mga, mga magulang at mga kapatid, ang salita ng Diyos, Nag-define po anong tunay na kahulugan sa pamilya. Ang pamilya po ay hindi lang dugo. Ang pamilya po mga kapatid ay relasyon. Hindi yung panglabas lang na relasyon, kung hindi po genuine, tunay na tunay na relasyon. Amen. Sige lang, sapagkat sa grace ng Panginoon, dahan-dahan, hindi yan isang iglap. Maging ganun tayo mga kapatid. Dahan-dahan po yan. Marami po tayong mga excellent members dito sa simbahan. Ang galing po mag-love, ang galing po mag-entertain, ang galing po uh, sa relationship. They are an epitome of a true expression of love and relationship. Pero pag malaman mo ano yung background nila, na hindi pala sila ganoon, mahiyain pala sila noon, you will be encouraged. Why? Because like you, they were, they were a same person in the past. But the Lord changed them. There is this guarantee I can give you. Not mark, not mark my word. Mark the word of God. Because this is the Lord promised. The Lord is well able to change and transform you. Amen. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Let me now to, to uh, a couple of scripture. One is in John 12 to 13. The Bible said, But to all who did receive Christ, who believe in His name, He gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but God. Sabi ni Lord, sino yung nalampalataya kay Heso Kristo? Naging anak ng Panginoon. Naging kasapi siya sa pamilya ng Diyos. Household of faith. We become, we become brothers and sisters. And God is our Father. Jesus is our eldest brother. Not by the virtue of blood, but by the virtue of the will, the will of the Father. Another verse is in Luke 8, verse 21. The Bible said, It was reported to him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside wishing to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God and do it. Isang araw po itinanong si Jesus Christo, sinabihan pala, Nandito po yung nanay at mga kapatid mo. 
Kumbaga, yung nagsabi na ganaw, si excited po. Tininan niya paano yung response ni Yesu Cristo. Hindi naman po yung, ano, yung malamig. Pero Jesus Christ was just wanting to show a point. Sabi ni Lord, sino baga ang pamilya ko? At ito, listen, read the lips of the Lord. Sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus, ang aking pamilya, aking nanay at aking mga kabatid, ay sila yung nakikinig sa salita ng Diyos at ginagawa nila yun. Ibig sabihin, the, fam, the mother and the brothers of Jesus are those who follow and who learn His ways. The disciples, ladies and gentlemen, the mother, the brothers, the sisters, the father of Jesus. I mean, there's no father but mother and brothers and sisters are those whom I am standing before today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ain't that nice, brothers and sisters? Amen. Palagpapat po natin si God. This morning, I would just like to be candid, honest, because these few days or weeks, I've seen a number, ito yun, a number of our church members who we are able to raise in the, profit, in the process of time. And some of them left some one the city because they found their lives into other places. That hurt me to see them and bid their goodbye and ask at the last, Pastor, can you lay hands on me and pray for me? Because I'm living, Pastor. I gotta work somewhere. I gonna hold it in as much because, you know what? We are a real family. Are you with me, amen? Amen. But others as well are just in here. But they are expressing one thing in common. They have love for the church. Amen. And not just in words, but also in deeds. I will share later si Ati Gliza. Kahapon po, may dalawa kaming kasal. Ang una pong ikinasal si Ati Shia at si Amps. Talagang malapit na talaga Amps tumulo yung luha ko. Pwede ngayon na lang. <laughs> uh, we were in another place and there was another pastor and there were other people around. Good because the venue of the wedding was a huge place. I could have other places, you know, to look around for my diversion. Kasi mababaw talaga ako mga kapatid. Kaya nga hindi ako tumitingin ng MMK. <laughs> Alam po ninyo kahit po commercial lang po. Commercial lang ano, sampung segundo. Pag makuha yung emotion ko, tumutulo talaga yung luha ko. I don't know, bakit kaya ako ganun? Pero ang sarap, pag mag-worship din ako, ma-feel ko lang kahit konti lang ang presence ni Lord, tutulo talaga yung luha ko. Ano yun eh, yung emotion, emotional quotient natin yun. May iba't iba kasi, pastor hindi ako nun. Kahit may nag-iiyakan, sampo, isang, isang libong tao nag-iiyakan, hindi ako madala-dala, pastor, puso ko ba'y mato? Hindi naman, ganun ka ginawa ng Panginoon. Kapo, no? Kapo si Shai, si Am, nag-exchange ng idols. Nag-re-reminis talaga ako. Naging nostalgic talaga ako. Naalala ko talaga yung isang linggo. Wednesday siguro yun, may tumawag po sa all number natin. Nakabasa kasi ng kolom uh, by God's grace ko sa Sambuanga Today. Ang kanyang pangalan, nag-introduce siya. Uh, sabi niya, magpunta kami sa lugar ninyo coming Sunday. Uh, we were renting the second floor, the same building. Sila po'y tatlong pumunta, apat pala. May isa pong maliit na Batang babae, 6 years old yata yun, 5 years old. I cannot believe she is now 21. Very beautiful. And she's a nurse, you know? A digestive nurse. Pero yung dalawang lalaki, isa po mataba, 12. Yung, yung, tawa nito, yung uh, another another boy was a 14-year-old. Naka, naka slacks. I can remember if you were wearing slacks at the time, I'm split, but I cannot forget Naka, naka three fourth ka like this. At saka hindi mag-drawing ang mukha nitong batang to. Kasi, I don't know, bago siguro nagpunta si church, there was that battle, the mother and son had to argue, you gotta go with me in the church. Parang yun ang legacy ni Sister Daisy na naibilin po sa kanyang mga anak. Dahil doon, ang mga bata po, sapagat may guidance, may values po, they, they're, they're, they were not swayed in, in both directions. I think that's the age the family has. 
I cannot believe 15 years later that same boy was the man I saw yesterday. Exchanging vow to a girl whom I know also 2003 or 2004. The same girl I prayed for when she was 12 years old. Who we were able to raise in the church grew up to be such a young beautiful lady. It was her last to be a lady yesterday because after she exchanged idols to up, she became a real woman. The difference between a lady and a woman, a lady is a single. A woman is when she become married. Are you there? So, sino bang hindi, hindi nun madala, kapatid sa... May tao pa ba dyan? Amen. Hello? Amen. Sino bang hindi madala po sa katotohanan? Nakikita ko sa mata ko eh. Pamilya tayo, mga kapatid. Amen. Amen. Kumain kami kahapon after the wed wedding kasi ang um, dedication, dedication will be this week here. The ceremony will be this week here. I like to go to Ati Gliza. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. You have your Bible. Sabi ni Lord, finally, brothers, whatever is true, number one, Whatever is honorable, number two. Whatever is just, number three. Whatever is pure, number four. Whatever is lovely, number five. Whatever is commendable, number six. If there is any excellence, number seven. If there is any anything worthy of praise, number eight. Think about these things. There are eight criteria here that the Lord is saying, place this in your heart and bear this in your mind. Yeah. Lahat ng mga kapatiran po natin na na-raise up natin sa Panginoon. Now, mga kapatid, hindi lang po mga kabataan ang tinutukoy ko dito. Lahat po tayo. Kahit we are, we are, we are uh, parents already, you are involved here. They may not have all of these eight qualities at the same time, but at least they have three, four, five. Check yourself. Where in this, where in this eight qualities you have? Ano po? Sethi Glyza, undeniably, talaga, she is an epitome of an acts evangelist, di ba? <laughs> ano, unstoppable, no? Maganda to, i i isama, isama mo si Gamaliel, si Atiglam, tsaka si Pastor Rick. Pastor natin sa, ano, sa, sa Talusan, kasi pag mag-uusap sila, Kahit kung the we ours, hindi sila maubusan ng words. At saka, they, they talk with sense. And if you don't listen, they will get your attention. Punta si Atig Lang. Si Atig Lang nali, uh, end, end of March, came back home after five years of leaving Axe from on, uh, Toronto, Ontario. Uh, sabi niya, Pastor, Toronto in... Uh, yeah, Toronto in... Uh, Toronto, Ontario. May, may accent to nun eh. Iba kasi yun sa akin kasi uh, I prefer more uh, the this, this, this Scot uh, ano yun? The Scotch accent. <laughs> Sabi ni Ati Delia ba? Sweet. Parang indirectly she was telling me ano ang ibig sabihin ni Ati Glyza? I know she understands. Kasi every time daw si Glam pag-usap uh, Right, Tate? Ano yun? Kumak mo? Hindi, English yun. Sa akin yun, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, meron kasing... May, merong... Did you get it? Uh, you get me? You get me? You get me? Every time, imagine mo naman. Tayo mga Pilipino, hindi tayo nagsasaya na, Kuha mo? Kuha mo? Pero every time, you get me? You get me? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. Hey, talagang na na talagang na over na overcome ako mga kapatid winning this week ba? Na overcome talaga ako sa pag-ibig ng mga kapatiran ko natin. Nasabi ko Panginoon, yung mga sacrifices pa na namin in the past at saka yung yung pag-mentor namin sa kanila, it really pays gale. No nakikita natin na it's still themselves now standing and coming back to you and telling, telling not just in words, but telling in actions, Pastor, we love the Lord. 
No? Isang araw, sinamihan niya siya Tidelia. Kakain tayo sa labas. Sa lahat, kinawagan. Ah, masayang-masaya. Kain sa labas. Talaga, pinagkain niya ating lahat. Hindi e, tinignan niya yung bill. Kasi okay na yung bill. Kasi ang pera sa Canada, di ba? Dollars, man? A dollar is equal to how much? After sa kain, ayun. Mag-uusap tayo patungkol sa praise and worship. Ayun. <laughs> Nandun si BJ, nandun si Chester, nandun si ano, nilekturan. Hindi ba ang value sa worship natin? Kailangan makapasok tayo sa Holy of Holy City lang kantahan. Nakikinig siya, Tidelia, wala ako dun eh. But if I have prayer kasi I prefer just to stay in the house. To read, to sleep, listen music, or uh, to pray. Kasi dahil po sa aking time, no? So sila lang, na, sila nag enjoy doon. Sila nag enjoy And then, uh, uh, I, I just do not like to parade or uh, share to them one, one to the other in these four weeks of stay of Atiglan. What are those she's giving back to the church? She's giving back to the family. Because I don't want to deprive, to deprive her to be blessed by the Lord. Kasi sabi ni God, what your right gave, let not your left know. Amen. Because he who saw what you gave in secret will, re will reward you openly. I will just stay up to there. Enough is it, ladies and gentlemen, to see, you know, a, a used to be nobody and a nothing. Now being blessed by God and coming back and expressing the love of God to the church. Expressing to the, the love of God to the family, not just in words, but in actions. And you know what? It's their time today. Tomorrow will be yours. Amen? Kalapakan na natin si Lord. Meron po kasing dalawang trademark po yung acts. Palagi natin naririnig ito, pero let me be categorical today. By the way, sa mga those who have come for a month or for the first time, Axe Church yung pahala ng grupo ko natin. Sister Mila is here. No? Meron po tayong dalawang trademark sa values ng simbahan ko natin. Ito yung pinag... Dalawang L, love and loyalty. Say the word, love, love. and loyalty. loyalty. Love is yung passionate love. Hindi yung passive love. Yung passionate love. Hindi ikaw naghahanap ng panahon. Okay. Pag dumating pa panahon, sige. Hindi, ano yun? Hindi ang panahon naghahanap sa iyo kung hindi ikaw naghahanap ng panahon. Pag lalapit yan sa akin, pag shishakean yan sa akin, shishakean ako sa kanya. Pag magbeso-beso yan sa akin, magbeso-beso din ako sa kanya. Tawag nun, passive. Ay, hindi ba lumapit? Eh, hindi siya lumapit. Ako nalapit. Ang tawag nun, active. Amen. Amen? Hindi ba siya nagshishakean sa kanya, nagbeso sa akin? Ako lalapit sa kanya, ako magsishake ka, magkwento sa kanya and show him, tell him the love of God. Love, I like us to say the word love, love. and loyalty. Yeah. I just finished reading uh, the book of Judges sa Old Testament na kasi ako. Later in chapters 18, 19, 20, and 21, meron isang Levi dyan, ang pangalan si Jonathan. Siya pala ay apo ni Moses. Ang kanyang, kanyang priesthood po, pinagbibili niya, kanyang being a Levite, was for sale. She wasn't so loyal to the family who found and discovered her, who discovered him. The family who found and discovered him and gave, gave him his name and his personality was Micah. Later, another group of people offered him and they were greater and they were bigger. They were the family of Dan, the, the tribe of Dan. If you have time, read chapters 18 hanggang 21 po ng, ano, ng, ng Judges. At the end, bumalik po yun sa kanya. Na kanyang asawa po, lumayo sa kanya. Nung hinanap niya, nahanap niya kanyang asawa, umuwi sila halfway doon sa isang lugar. Nirape ang kanyang asawa. Dahil doon, can you imagine? He, uh, 
What is this? He chopped his wife into 12 pieces and each its body part he sent to the 12 tribes of Israel. You just read the story. Sabi ko, wow, ang disloyalty. Sa Acts kasi, we encourage real love amongst us. And then in as much we encourage loyalty. Loyalty first to God Almighty and loyalty to the family. Amen. Palapakan doon natin si Lord. Sabi po ni Apostol Pablo sa 4 ng Pilipos, versikulo 15. I will be reading from King James Version. Speaking about love and loyalty. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me and concerning giving and receiving, but only you. Sabi ni Pablo, kayong mga Philippian, Philippian Christians, you are so loyal to me, your love. Si Pablo, no? Siya yung sumulat sa Romans hanggang, ano, Hebrew, one third of the Bible. Saint Paul. Pero kahit po siya, siya, siya po'y para bagang nag-complain. Sabi niya, nung ako'y nag-minister, wala talagang nakaalala sa akin. Imagine. Sabi niya, isa lang po, kayo po mga Philippian Christians. Hindi niyo ako kinalimutan. Last Sunday, ayun, ito yung nag din sa akin. Si Sister Joy is not around, but she's our church member. You know, Sister Joy, she's a small lady. Meron siyang tatlong anak. Every anak niya, siya po yung nag... Uh, sisarian. Yung pangatlong anak niya, tumulong siya sa church. Pinagpipray natin siya na sana hindi, hindi siya magsisarian. Alam po ninyo, sapagat... Sapagat yung puso ba ng, ano, ni Sister Joy, she was, she was so generous and she wanted to help the church. The Lord saw it. Alam po ninyo, on the third time, siya po'y nanganak, hindi siya nagsisayang. First time siya nag, ano, nag, nag normal na anak. Every time ang pumunta siya sa church, kasi yung husband niya hindi pa, ano, pumunta sa church. Meron pa siyang another papangkin, apat po na bata. Yung tatlo, maliit. Five, six, seven, and eight. At saka, meron siyang one year old. Kagagaga niya. Talaga, umakit siya dito sa simbahan. Yung masaya, masaya talaga. At saka mag-worship, kinakarga niya yung bata, yung tatlo, ginaganan niya. Nag-worship, ayun ma. Sister Jo, maliit na babae ba? Nakita ko last Sunday, nung umakit, in-embrace ko, inag ko, kinis ko. Di, pa, pa, ano yung, pasilip-silip ako last Sunday ba? Tininan niya siya nag-worship. Talagang na antik yung puso ko. Ako po mga kapatid, pastor lang ninyo. I'm just, you know, under shepherd. Pag ako nga ay pastor lang ninyo, na antik na ang puso ko, Nung nakita ko yung sister ko, how much more kaya ang ating ama na nasa langit? Amen. Alam ba ninyo, every time ma-express po natin ang pag-ibig natin sa Panginoon, every time po na ma-express po natin yung tunay na pag-ibig po natin sa isa't isa, inaantik po natin ang puso ng ating ama. Amen. Hello. Amen. Palagpaka doon natin si Lord. Hindi po bawal mag-mention ng name. Si Pablo din sa Ephesians chapter 2 verse 30. Sabi niya, talking about Epaphroditus, For he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. That is in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 30. Epaphroditus. Sabi ni Pablo, talagang pinuri niya si Epaphroditus. Sabi niya, itong, itong alagad na to, kahit po sa, uh, in, in the mouth of death, he even did not say no and was willing to give his life because he loved the ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, there are indeed many good things we see or I see and I'm allowing us to see within these weeks. And you know and you know what? They are worth to be celebrating for. There was an old hymn. It was entitled Count Your Blessings. I don't know if you happen to hear that old hymn. The chorus says it this way. And let me read. Count your blessings, name, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Another thing. Don't you know that we are renting now our church 23,000? Did, did, did not 
cross to your mind where we get every month to pay this place. Alam po ninyo kahit pa paano, convenient naman tayo nag-worship sa Panginoon. May aircon tayo ang Lord. Maganda yung lugar po natin, yung instruments po natin. Kahit pa paano, nag-worship tayo sa Panginoon. Ang ganda po. Hindi po sa ilalim ng lilim ng ng punong mangga. May iba pong mga kapatiran po natin, ibang simbahan na ganun. Kasi di pride po sila tayo. Kahit pa paano, we are in convenience. At alam po ninyo, how much we are We are receiving every Sunday our tithes and our offering, our collection. Ang pinakamalaki na siguro on a Sunday, mga 2 or 3,000. You times it 4 in a month. Well, may mga personal blessings sa kuminsan kami ng Zohar Sister Daniel, we draw it out. Kasi you know what? God is unlimited in all of His blessings. But I'll, let me share to you one of the secrets. Kasi minsan sinabihan ako ni Lord, Son, I will have some times, I will have some times to uh, withhold my personal blessings for you because I want you to understand it's not you who will who will pay my kingdom. It's me to provide for the needs of my kingdom. And I want my people to be involved in this ministry. Amen. You know, sinabi ko, ang dami po nating mga church members na na-raise up po natin sa simbahan. At sila po yung umalis ng trabaho na sa labas. Isa na doon, kapatid po, ni Sister Delia. Sister Melda. At isa na doon, yung uh, panganay kong anak. At nandun si Ate Ara. Nandun si uh, si Claire. Nandun si uh, si sino to? Si Uh, I'm mentioning church members that are sending their tithes regularly. Si Margie. And you know what? Itong mga tithes nila, faithfully, you know what is a tithe? Tithe is not anything that you give out as this is my, ano, ito yung ano, willing, minsan we argue kasi. Now, I will not argue with you kasi tithes and offering is a personal commitment to Christ. Tithes and offering is not even a basis of our going to hell or going to heaven, Galit. Our, our going to heaven is based on our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the tenth of our income. Can you imagine itong mga kapatid na to? Away sila sa family na nila. Soon as ma-receive na kanilang salary, kinukunan po nila yung kanilang salary tenth of their income. They will set it by, by what is this, by... By remittance, they will either text or send me a a PM number, an account of private message, and then they will say, Pastor, I just send my tithe. At alam po niyo sa awa po ng Dios, magi eight years na po tayo dito sa simbahan. Meron pa tayong mga baklak, but we are paying them little by little and for sure. Salamat po sa pagnon, dahil po may mga kapatiran po tayo na. Na nasa, kahit malahay na silang kanilang puso'y nasa silamlam po, nandun na sa Manila, pero pinapadala po niya ang price dito sa simbahan. Ang ganda po nun, mga kapatid. Praise be to the living God. May tao pa ba dyan? Amen? Amen. Now, here we go. Ang prayer ko po, being a pastor, I've been praying this for some time, siguro mga almost a month. My prayer is that anytime soon, Our weekly offering can be more than enough to pay all of our payables domestically. The yung price and offering po natin will be more than enough already to pay the every Sunday collection po natin. Para po yung mga types ng mga church members na pinapadala, we can save them, save them every month, and then one day we can buy our own lot. And one day also, we can be in our own church. Amen. Amen. Dahan-dahan, tayo kayo mga nandito sa church. Nakita niyo yung box. Nag-o-observe lang ako. At dun siya nga nag-o-observe lang at Diyos. Kasi sabi ni Chin at saka ni Ate Vicky, sila pong nag-conceptualize. And later, ano kaya ako? Gawa tayo ng isang box. Piso to the church. Ayun, hulog kayo ng hulog. Sa nalalaman ko, for now, 
in almost a year. Sa piso ke piso hulog ninyo, 520 yun. By the way, kung hindi pa kayo nakahulog, humulog na kayo. Yes. Amen. Kasi dahan-dahan magkaroon tayo ng church. Amen? Amen. Imagine, pag nakabigay naka, naka, naka ka ng 100, ilang halog naks nagbigay mo doon? Amen. 1,000. Di ba? Sila mo'y nakakulit na ng 3,000. 3, ano kaya, ano? Pag yun ang gagawin, yun ang mangyayari, pinipray ko talaga sa Panginoon. And I know God will gonna touch our hearts. I thought friends will not be around today, but he showed up. But I would like to conclude my sermon in quoting friends two, two, uh, two months ago. He said it this way, God enjoins us. You know what is enjoy? Enjoying is mundane. It's a command. God enjoins us to give our tithes, not because God wanted our money, but He rather wanted to give us a better life. Amen. Remember, God promised us not only heaven on the next life, but also heaven on earth. Amen. Sabi ni Lord sa Isaiah, I don't need your animals. God can say, I don't need your money because silver and gold are His. But the works of the Lord does. Amen. Amen. May, may prinsipyo kasi si Lord, God can give us if we give first to Him. Sabi ni Lord, when you plan, ikaw ay ang ating. Isa talaga sa mga ito, i-close ko lahat, na naaantig na Ooh. story ng mga kabataan ko natin. Ayun, wala man siya dito si Marchie pa. This girl grew up also in church when she was 12 years old. Naladala ni Jason. Then nag grew up sa si church. Sabi niya sa akin one day, Pastor, you pray for me, you pray, sabi niya sa si church kasi she's applying for a job in Japan, Japan is a nurse. And she will have a six months tra six months training in Manila. Sa training pa lang, meron na siyang allowance, bigger allowance. Then when she can go to to uh, to Japan, she can receive a salary per month, 180,000 peso. A disciple yun, sinong disciple ba si, ano, si Margie? Every day nandito sa Sibahan, nagpi-pray nag ano yung nanalo sa ano yung sa miss bisang buwangga kuha ng tide sa tag sa ano yung uh, receive ng allowance sa papa 220 30 yung bigay sa tide nung umalis sa Tungos Manila no sa kitala ng puso ni pastor no dai si pray na to her training will be over anytime next month june alis na po si ano si Si Margie, 180,000. Alam ko ninyo, si Margie po ay anak sa ikalawang pamilya. You just do not know how it is to undergo for a child a second family. Dami pong flow sa buhay ni, ni, ano, ni, ni Margie. Pati na yung ano, birth certificate, dami pong mali. Nung nag-apply siya, sinabihan siya, ni, yung hapon, paano yung... Ah, uh, ligtu ko sa labas. Ah, uh, ayun no. Uh, meron yan si ano, si Nas yung ah uh, may yung butchor sa kanan bird. Ah, uh, meron yan siya. Oh, yung may meron siya na wala. Yung nan siya na malaki mong mali hindi ka qualified. Umuwi talaga ang bata galing sa Manila. Umiyak. At nagpray. Sinabihan ni Ate ano ni Ate Delia. Maganda talaga pag may mentor tayo, ano po? Amen. Na, si Lord ang mag-defend sa'yo, si Lord ang mag-ano, mag-raise sa'yo. Pero mo yung employer na nagsabi sa'yo, hindi ka pwede, tumawag ulit, ay, sorry, pwede ka pala. <laughs> Balik ka dito, ha? Everything pain and shoulder. Pumunta siya kay Andy, Kuya, pahiram naman, Kuya, kasi alis ako, Kuya, wala akong pera. Si Andy naman, Yun po ang essence ng ads. Love, 
Ano yun? And loyalty. Sabi doon natin, love, love and loyalty. Kasi sabihan mo yung magagay, sabi mo, love, love and loyalty. Sumaya so, yung bata ng C-130. But no more this time. The life of this girl is altered and changed already forever. Amen. Nagsisimula pa sa Manila. Pagpunta na po siya sa ano, sa, sa Japan. And you know what? I'm only relating how many stories of our church members, which is a relative story to you and to me because the Lord blesses equally and fairly everyone. Amen. Amen. His time maybe is today. Yours will be tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Or maybe the next day. I do not know. It's on, there's only one thing definitely for sure I know. God has you planted His own time. Amen. 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 Amen.